Remember, folks, I'm just a Muppet in a chair. Don't take me seriously. What's going on, Boomerizzles? Hey, guys. It's good to see you. Welcome back to another edition of Two Muppets React to Carl Pilkington going across the world in an Indian abroad. Um, this one it's, should be pretty damn good because... It's Route 66. Route 66 in the United States Do of you America. Know that song? I think I used to. I don't. I don't know it now. Get your kicks on Route sixty six. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's corny as hell. That's the only part I know. I don't know the rest yeah. of the song. Well, that was the part that I was trying to remember. It's get your kicks. Rest of it, on I have no Route idea. Route sixty six. Yeah. So, Route sixty six. So he's gonna trek across the United States. Have you ever been on that route? I have, oh, really? but I've, I haven't been on it very long, though. It was just, you know. Have you ever been on it? Used it to get to another part. I've never done that trek across on Route 66. I think my friend did, because she had to go to really California. I mean, it's basically just one big highway, like 95. Yeah. Like, ni 95 goes up the entire East Coast. Yeah. From Florida all the way to Maine. What's so Maine. exciting about Route 66? Like what's the well, I mean, you're going factor. instead of going along the coast like 95, you're going west, so you're seeing mountains and mm, vast, yeah, stunning landscapes. When you get out further west, yeah, yeah. So there's that. But oh, yep. other other than that, I don't see, see the appeal. So and this is in my own country. So, but but I have been out west. What like I I think I've even told them before. Like if you're visiting the United States. Try a, a sparsely populated state like Montana or Idaho. The scenery is beautiful. And, uh, you know, you get to check out the ranching culture and stuff like that. It's 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 a must. I mean, I need to go there. All yeah, you haven't places. done it. Yeah, no, it's, I haven't been out It's west. incredible. I, I love it. I think I've, yeah, I've been to the, both Dakotas, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming. Um, yeah. It's, I've been to it's absolutely Florida, amazing. Florida, California, Colorado, Tennessee, Georgia, New York, Pennsylvania, and New Jersey. And well, Colorado's kind of, you know, same type is. of scen scenery. Yeah. Sort of. But I was just up in a mountain, yeah. not being able okay. to breathe. So that All was right. my Well, experience. anyway, let's get into An Idiot Abroad and see what he encounters in Route 66. Remember to like, subscribe, and do whatever 66. you guys want. Here we go. Get your kicks. <laughs> Stuck in my head now. So stuck in your head now. Yeah. Route 66, I've heard of. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Travelling along Route 66. What is it? Just driving down it, having a look. Well, it's just, it's a, it's a long one. It's um, two and a half thousand miles. One of America's sort of first highways. You see, uh, the thing that worries me is, is it, is it America who's made this seem like it's a good thing to do? Because they're, well, I just think they're more excitable. When I was in Disneyland, <laughs> went some, past some fruit on a boat, three old women getting excited about an eggplant, woo, whooping. Now I sort of think, am I miserable? You've got a question? Uh, I've got an answer. <gasps> yeah, you're fucking miserable. Yeah, <laughs> <got> a... <laughs> oh, shit. I mean, he did. He, he certainly describes some Americans. Yeah. Or they get excited over, you know, nothing. I get excited over a lot of things. You do. Yeah. You do. That's how you keep your life full of wonder and excitement and positivity. Okay. Okay. Women get excited about an eggplant. Woo! Whooping. Now I sort of think, am I miserable? You've got a question? Uh, I've got an answer. Yeah, you're fucking miserable. No, no, <laughs> but I think I get I get excited at things you should get excited about. Okay, what was the last thing you got excited about? Smile, smile, just smile, just fake it. No, fake, do a smile. See, you don't know what you, you don't know what that feels like, do you? That's odd to you. No, let's show your teeth. Yeah, yeah. That looks well, weird, doesn't really it? Really weird. I've never that seen looks, it before. That looks weird. It looks weird. So Route 66, you must have heard of that. Yeah, a car without a roof on it. Right. Driving along. Yeah. Sun sort of there. Shades. Right, there you go. Get your kicks on Route 66. Off you go. It's just a road. It's tarmac. 
it's a road with cars on it. It's like any other road. I don't, I don't think Americans come over here and go, oh, where's the M1? I can't wait to get on the M1. <laughs> right, he's that wrong about it's that. It's the first road over there, the first <laughs> proper road. First one across America. Everyone thinks the M1 is our first motorway, but it isn't. M6. Preston Bypass, that's the first motorway in the UK. But no one, you don't hear people going on about it. They don't get excited and going on the M6 tomorrow. Are you? Lucky bastard. Doesn't happen. <laughs> yeah, America. Segways. America. Yeah. Nice try, Carl. Right. Well, this is it then, isn't it? I'm in uh, California. Nice, isn't it? Have you seen that? Uh... Amusement park before? Yeah, but I've never been to Santa Monica. It's like one of the more famous, like really small amusement parks. It's kind yeah. of like that. God, I'm blanking on the name, but the uh, Coney Coney Island Coney Island, Island in, in New York. The, New York. I thought it was New York. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, New York City. It's like I just know New Jersey has a lot of like um, boardwalks like that. Yeah. That are popular. Ocean City, Maryland's is better. This bit here. Yeah. The pier is, uh, that's the start of Route 66, and I think it goes that way for miles. That's it's interesting, right, they're so, starting yeah. in California. This is me, this. Loads of room. Not as clean as I thought it would be. There's pigeons knocking about, which you don't see on Baywatch. The rats of the sky. All right, mate. I'll drive safely. I know you wanted a nice little convertible, so I've sorted one out. Just head over to your hotel and the keys are on reception. All right? Have a good drive. See you later. See, that'd be good if I get like a Hummer or uh, any of these, if it's got air con. Am I meant to enjoy it now whilst I'm doing it, or is it something you appreciate after? You know what I mean? Like a lot of things in life. I mean, in a way, even though I'm, I'm sort of eager to have fruit, and I'd love to have an orange. I never really enjoy the orange. I'm always happy to get to the end when you can wash your hands. I get sick of it running down your arm. I, I, I tend to eat them in the bath. All right, boy. Thought I'd arrange a little break from the road. I know you're uh, into your, your body popping and, you know, singing and a little donkey and that when you're younger. So I thought you'd fit right in with the latest thing in a dance craze in America at the moment. Um, called Glee. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we'll see you later. I'm shattered, do you know what I mean? And now I've got to turn into Lionel Blair. Do you know what that is? Because I don't. Yes, I was, about to, I was about to just say Brian doesn't know what that is. Probably not. So Glee is a, it was a show called like the Glee Club. Yeah. And it's like, it's just like a singing club. So it's like musicals? Yeah. Okay. Um, Say no more. Let's okay. go. <laughs> Just like that. Ha! Ha! Oh, that's it. That's it. Good. 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 Okay. Do go. Go like this. Hey! Hey! Yes. And I see you're using your diaphragm. You actually did it pretty good. Ooh, that's good, Carl. I think you can sing. Me 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 me. That's so good. Me 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 me. Get the dancers in. No, hang on. No, no, wait, oh, I... wait. <laughs> Don't bring the sync dancers in yet, honestly. I need to okay, know. Okay, okay. It's just that you know, like in two hours or so, you're going to be performing it. it... Um, you just want to do the dancing. Well, it sort of makes sense if I just do the dancing because that's what the crowd can see. The singing—they're not going to be hearing my voice. Carl, your facial expressions, and remember, smile. <laughs> it's going to be so much fun. It's not fun for everyone, is it? She was going to see you having fun. No, not really. No. No, I'm not. But is it just an American thing? Do they have fun better than us? <laughs> do they? Do we? I don't know. I don't know. You guys, do we have more fun than you guys? I, you know, maybe in some, in some ways, yes. In some ways, no. I think we have fun. I think they have more fun at sporting events. I've seen their 
foot the, the we football. We had a lot of fun driving a car going left multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> that, all right, all right, that's. Well, someone says he's coming around. I'm some fun. No, I, uh, I don't know actually. I don't want fun. It's a word I just don't use. And she goes over. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's very good. It's not my sort of thing, singing and dancing. We've got enough singers and dancers anyway in the country. Why we still have Pop Idol and X Factor? Everyone's singing. I mean, this is a school. Look at them. They're not doing English and maths. Where's the doctors? The plumbers? When I had a problem with my boiler, I had to wait two weeks because no plumbers are out. They need someone to come around and sing and dance. Loads of them. But we've got enough. <laughs> I mean, he's kind of not wrong. We have a shortage of plumbers and doctors at the moment. I haven't got a taste for it, honestly. This isn't like a big life-changing moment. Oh, Carl's finally found his destiny. I, I don't want to do this. Embarrassed. Do you know how I always say to you that you give me anxiety dreams? I panic and stuff because of the things you set up. And that time when I had a dream about being in a toilet and you opened the door and every, there was a big audience looking at me having a shit. It was exactly the same feeling I had in my dream as that. I just wanted to wake up and for it to go away. It was shocking. And the weird thing about that dream, it's not particularly sort of Freudian or symbolic, right, as an anxiety dream. Because I often open the door when you're having a shit to yeah, annoy you. That's true, actually. So, yeah. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite justified. That's, <laughs> that's normal. Have a great time, man. I'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. 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 I don't know, that TP hotel, I, it reminds me that we got so many Native Americans on just, you know, herded up on reservations out yeah. there. It kind of makes me sad. Yeah? Yeah. Sorry. You know, you'll hear a lot of Americans ranting and raving about all the problems they're having, but... The real Americans. The, the real Americans, the Native out. Americans that we, you know, penned up in reservations we've th those are the ones that are really hurting yeah and but nobody wants to stick their neck Talk out for them that, yeah, yeah. Bottles on a stick. hello yeah hello hello What's it all about? Is it one man who's done this, or is it is it a touristy thing and you're meant to bring a bottle and stick one on when you're here? I think it's just one guy's house. He's got a serious drink problem, whatever it is, hasn't he? I mean, to be honest, it's scary that he's not in, because where is he? What is he doing? What is he do what What's the What is his life like? That's a fair question. Have you ever seen someone I don't know what on I'm... the side of the road? No. Really? Not, not, not like that, no. Never. Really? Yeah, where have you seen that stuff? Like, everywhere. Like, where? I don't know how to explain I feel like this is stuff there. we would see in the Florida Keys. Yeah. You always see all kinds of goofy stuff in the Florida Remember Keys. Remember when we were driving to the Keys and you saw that giant um, lobster statue? No, I can't remember that, but... Okay, well, behind that is an artisan village, which is where they, like, 
basically just glue shit together and that's like what this is. The, 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 okay. Yeah. I'm meant to get from it. I don't know if it's proving a point or if he's just a scruffy bastard. <laughs> See, this is what they mean, isn't it, about it's not worth doing recycling back in Britain. Because there's me with my Marmite jar and my milk bottle and what have you. But if he's doing this, what's the point? I just always like think it. about when it's time to move and you've got to sell your place. It's his target sort of market. There's not many people who would want this in the front garden. No one's going to turn up and go, do you know what? This is what I've been looking for. <laughs> Two bedrooms, we're after that. Load of shit in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> I got a text from Steve and he says this part of Route 66 goes through like the the old hippie area. So he just wants me to stop off and meet Valerie. She's into new age healing therapy. Enjoy. <gasps> Was that just shouting my name? Hello? Oh. Carl. Hello? Hello? Valerie. Hello. I'm Carl. Carl. Nice to meet nice you. To see you. Did you just shout my name? No, she may have. That's Kiwi. It's not doing it now. So you're a shaker? I'm a what? You're a shaker? Are you a hugger? Uh. You want a hug? No, this is all right. This is good. I've <laughs> just right. met you. Come in. All right. Hello. Hi. This is Clive. Clive. This is Clive. Carl. Hello. This is what we call the sandbox. This is Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey. This is our beanbag hangout, and it's held space for a lot of really beautiful gatherings, a lot of connecting. Would you like to see inside? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Want, yeah. This is where we'll be gathering tonight. Who will be? Could be 15 or 20 people. It's called Cuddle Party. Have you heard of Cuddle Party? Uh, I've Bang on. A, a cuddle party? That sounds nice. I like cuddles. It's like a giant... It's like ha having a, a cuddle party at a giant teepee. It's, those are like rave tents. Like they have those at raves. Yeah. They do like sound baths. It's like a mini dome. Do you know what a sound bath is? No. Oh, Brian, you need to open you up. I'm a boomer. World. That's why you I, are. that's why I picked the name King Boomer. Okay. Well, a sound bath is you go in a tent like that and you lay down and they like hit gongs that go like ding and you like bathe in the sound. And it's supposed to be good for your soul. Is this related to uh, crystal people? Yes. Okay. That, that explains everything. <laughs> it's magical. You don't want a sound bath? No. Yeah. I haven't been here long, but I've walked past four blokes, I one know. woman. Yes. So how does that work? They're coming. There'll be more women. You don't want to cuddle any men? Well, I don't want to cuddle strangers, really. Probably going to start at eight, so you and I Nor probably do I, have to Carl. put our pajamas on. Why have I got to wear pajamas? Because look, I, I am so comfy now. I've got shorts on. They're nice and baggy. I'm getting air to my legs. Well, I'm relaxed. I think I'm going to encourage you to push yourself and put on some PJs. Bucket list. Oh, what do you want to do, Carl? I want to drive down Route 66. All right then. Like what are we doing? Yeah. I'm keeping my hat on. I don't want to look too relaxed because then it looks like I am up for anything. But this is saying <laughs> I'm new round here. <laughs> that is was there the any most. part of you that thinks you might learn something from it. No. I don't think there is. It was, yeah. Touch can be very healing, and sometimes things come up we don't expect. So that means that if you are cuddling and you become aroused, that's okay. That's a beautiful thing to acknowledge, speak with your partner. You can excuse yourself and have grapes. Again, it's about using your voice. <laughs> you can excuse yourself and have grapes. Is that what she said? Fuck off! If you get an erection, that's okay. It's a beautiful thing. You can always excuse yourself and have grapes. 
That's be like, oh, 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 whoops. Excuse me. I'm going to go get the grapes. You're like cuddling. Look. What if you're like cuddling with a girl and then she's like, grapes! Grapes! <laughs> grapes! grapes! Get the grapes! Like... Get the grapes quick! <laughs> Queen B, are you okay? That one killed you. Oh my god, I can just imagine that situation. Uh, you're like, does this feel good? Great! But, like, you know, I'll say this, that, like, people like that, like, it, it's so easy to make fun of them. Yeah. But they are very nice people. And they're happy. Right, I yeah. Don't know where the I, at least, at least we think they are. <laughs> what? <laughs> are you okay? <laughs> I forgot where the camera was. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was over here. Oh shit! Watch, like, whatever this reaction, I'm like, how about, what's the cuddle party? <laughs> Who the fuck am I talking to over there? How about I, I'll put another camera over there. How about oh, that? Okay. Oh uh, man. You're literally crying right now. Oh my god. Because <laughs> it went in my, like, as I was talking, this little voice in my head was like, what the fuck are you looking at, Cap? <laughs> oh, oh man. But look at how happy they are. So whatever they're doing with the, your life, if it makes you happy, go for it. Yeah. Oh, my God. And you that become so aroused. That's okay. That's a beautiful thing to acknowledge, to speak with your partner. You can excuse yourself and have grapes. Again, it's about using your voice <laughs> and communicating, <laughs> right? Like we do get questions here about erections, and they do happen from time to time. There's a level of discomfort, and what we're aiming for here is to be comfortable with that, to be able to dialogue, to be able to talk about what to do. do would you like to hug? <laughs> yeah. You're not ready to hug me yet? No. <laughs> Because I think we're getting out without it. We're fine. Can I hug you? Will you hug me? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, Jackson. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I've, I've all, honestly, it's nothing against you. Okay. I haven't hugged uh, Valerie. You haven't hugged her? No. All right, then. Just because I didn't want to be pushed into well, I didn't know I was coming tonight. It's not oh, like God. I didn't know what was going on. I can't hug you now. I'd be like, because then I Valerie will be going on. Right. you. I honestly, I I'd probably anything. be like Carl. You would. I'd be like, what the? F I'd just be looking at. I feel but like you'd be so uncomfortable. He's like been a told like what this is, but mm -hmm. I would like end up in something like this. Be like, what the? F you would. Where the fuck am I? Like, what is going on? You know. Got a minute. Oh my god, are you making that up? Yeah, I know. Oh, Valerie you, wouldn't care. It, She'd be so happy you changed your mind. I would be happy that you said yes to what you want to say yes to, and no, no to what you want to I'm say. I'm telling you, it would bother you. Inside, you'd be, you'd be going, what is going oh, on? Oh, dear one. <laughs> oh, this is making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> How long does this go on for? Then? Yeah. 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 So we're gonna go the Are people paying to be here? Right, that's what it's about then. So of course she's going to say, yeah, cuddle's good for you. Of course, she's doing the sell job to us. She's not going to go, it's a lot of old bollocks, this, but don't tell anyone. <laughs> but good on her. I always think, don't have a go at people for coming up with a business venture. But, you know, she went on the Dragon's Den. This wouldn't happen in England. This wouldn't, wouldn't work. But in America, they love all this shit. Oh. I, I, I actually agree with that, even though I've never been to England. But I don't think something like this would, would stick. Here, in, in certain parts, yeah. Yeah. I don't think this shit would fly in the South. No. 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 You would never find a place like this in the South. No, this is a California thing, I think. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, it could be a, a random West. I mean, you know. They'd be like, what do you want to do? You want to have a cuddle party? Here's a shovel. Dig a hole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love you. I love you, too. Yeah, what the fuck is this? How would you feel if I scooted up behind you to spoon you? Would that be okay? Well, that's worse than a cuddle. That is a cuddle. That's more, that's that's more than, than a cuddle, cuddle that. What if I put my back to you and I face the other way? Well, that's alright, because that's just because we're all... It's crowded. 
touching like that. That's just that's just like being on a tube. But you don't touch people on the tube. You do. In London, you do. It's a nightmare in rush hour. Really? You'd love it. <laughs> right. That's enough fun for me, anyway. You want to go down there? No, I'm gonna. I've got to get going because the traffic's. What? The traffic and that. What's the there. traffic? <laughs> Yeah, oh. she was very uncomfortable. I would, I would be too. It's just, it's just weird. I don't like random like strangers touching me. This is a bit of a uh, tourist attraction. Might as well have a look. Is Roadside attraction. <laughs> the fuck is that? We have one of those at our zoo. Like a real one or a, or a, a fake, fake one like that? No, a real way you climb into a fake one. I mean, I don't know. We we keep killer whales at Sea Sea World, so like walking in the mouth, kids. No, but our zoo has one of those, and I loved it when I was a kid. Yeah. Big fish in a small pond. It is. The sign says it's, it was an anniversary present. Bloke who built it built it for his wife. Odd gift, isn't it? And then the problem is, he did this. What do you get next year? You're just making yourself a bigger problem. Susan Away says it's not about the gifts, it's, it's, it's the thought and everything. You, you never go out of your way to get me something, you know, different. She says she's always given me hints, but I don't hear her. Do you know what I mean? She sort of says, oh, I've told you I've wanted this, I've told you I've wanted that. You never listen. And then she gets fed up. That's the thing, you see, about America, all that positive thinking and stuff. She has positive thinking. She thinks, right, I've told him I want a new ring or a pair of earrings, he'll get it me. And she has that positive thinking about it. But the problem with positive thinking, when it doesn't, doesn't, when it doesn't happen, you get negative. And most of the time, it doesn't happen. So she, she, she's pissed off most of the time. That's actually very interesting, what he just said. Because yeah. I've been told that from so many subscribers. Like, one of the biggest differences between the United States and the UK is that in, here in the States... Among most people, I don't think with me, <laughs> but with like most Americans, there's like this sense of optimism and um, like even if things are bad, like, hey, good, the good times are right around the corner. Whereas the attitude in the UK, particularly England, is like, you know, well, it's bound to go to, go to shit any second. That's you know? not good. They, not a good it's just to, like the psyche is like completely... On the opposite ends of the spectrum. I think, I think that's optimistic. why I laugh so much at their stuff is because you know me. I'm kind of cynical. Yeah. And um, I'm very optimistic. You are very optimistic. <laughs> yeah. That's why we work together so well. Yeah. Because you're very optimistic and I'm very skeptical. And then you shut it down. <laughs> uh, uh, cynical. And, and you know. Uh, like you know a couple of my friends call me like a realist i see like you know what what's the most likely realistic outcome in a situation mm -hmm. like that's what i look for not you and know what's the best outcome you can get important sometimes but yeah you gotta have faith and you gotta but yeah have there's faith. some things i am you know positive about but but anyway that was like like they've uh some of them have explained to me like one of the biggest dynamics, especially with the comedy difference mm -hmm. between the United States and the UK is like, you know, in the, the United States is like this. It seems like this never ending aura of optimism mm -hmm. and positivity. And like, even if things are bad, something good is right around the corner. Whereas they're like, yeah, you know, you better get fucking real, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the know? way I look at it though. A am I, am I right? Am I, talking out of my ass or am i on to something here because that's you know at least that's what i've been told yeah maybe i didn't word it correctly or or explain it right well they'll let you know they will let me know which is why you know. you know that's why i'm bringing it up and pausing it for so long yeah at this particular spot 
But you saw him. He was like, yeah, the optimism here. It's like, I can't stand it. Yeah. You know? Well, his girlfriend is optimistic, it sounds like. It sounds like she's a lot more optimistic than him. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, she wouldn't want this anyway. I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want it either. Carl, uh, just let you know this part of Route 66 uh, takes you through the old Wild West, where a gold rush happened uh, back in the past. And so uh, we've arranged for you to spend some time with a modern-day gold prospector. Oh, that's right? cool. Take to his mine, and you'll know you'll be you'll be uh, searching for gold. And obviously, you know the old rule: find us keepers. So, you know, dig well, search well. I hope it's well, not just and, a crazy uh, guy with, with a spade. Right, right. For gold, be good. I'll get Suzanne some. She's good because she'll be impressed with that oh, present. Hey, kitty. And it's free, so we're both happy. Aww. Is this like a proper trailer park? Looks like it. I've heard of these. I mean, I lived in a tiny flat in London, but it was still a bit bigger than that. That is ridiculous. You can wash up whilst you're in bed. Do you know what would annoy me with that? If someone comes and you don't want to answer the door, they know you're in, don't they? Because there's nowhere to hide there. That's true. See, these are all right. These are like what we used to stay in in Wales. I, quite, I think I'd be happy with this. Because you just always feel like you're on holiday. Joe. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Carl. Carl. Nice how are to you? meet you, man. You alright? Nice to meet you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, just a bit hot. You wanted to... Did you notice what he had on? Suspenders? <laughs> well, it was like a suspender holster with a pistol in it. Oh, I didn't notice. You didn't see that? No. Joe. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Carl. Carl. Yeah, nice look at pistol you, hanging You're out right? right out. Nice to meet you. Yeah, how are you doing? Yeah, just a bit hot. And yeah, there's one gold. on his side. So he's got two yeah, guns. It, he's he got in, two guns on him. Isn't he in California? No, they're in Arizona now. Oh, okay. No, that shit would not fly in California. That's why I was like, wait a minute. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some for my girlfriend. She always expects a gift when I go. Oh, home. yeah, I bet. Maybe you could find something to take back to her, man. We'll go take my truck and we'll go find some gold back there. All right. I bet you're uh, interested in getting into a mine, huh? How's that sound? That sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Pretty good pickup, huh? Yeah. Well, you've never been up hills like these, huh? Not driving. Well, this will be an experience for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know, a little bit, yeah. <laughs> Slow down a bit here. Slow. Oh. Yeah. Would you like that? You know. I actually think I would. Jesus. You like that, huh, Carl? Is it not another way? Oh. Yeah. It is? Huh? Oh, I know somewhere we're gonna I go. I could do that. Yeah. I know somewhere we're gonna go. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> It's proper mental, that. And that's his commute. <laughs> Every day. This is an uh, example of the explosion that we would get. And now he's got a rifle. To open up you a like new phone. Guy. You can uh, try to shoot this target here. Come on up here on the this little road right here and see how good you can do on this one here, Carl. All right, everybody. Will it get a bit further back? Because this seems close to me. No, gonna... you're fine. You're fine. Are you sure? Oh, I'm positive. If anything comes towards you, I'll jump in front of it. <laughs> Just take your time and be, be at ease. Going. You're you're fine. Safe distance. You see, this is the thing, though. Like, like with the gun thing. Like, I'm watching this. They got no ear protection. You know, they have no eye he's protection. basically just handing it to him. Go, go ahead, try it. Yeah. You know, like I, I not safe. 
it's not yeah gonna be loud no nah, not too loud fucking it was loud oh i thought you were talking about the explosion no i meant this fucking oh. hell you want an earplug jesus no yeah I just need a now he asks him this for a coconut uh, a little bit few inches too high rack too another high. one that was in. too high fast aim fast aim it on there and do it breathe breathe do it there you go, Carl. You got it. That's hot. Yeah, that's yeah. hot. Yeah. Did you like that, Carl? It's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, this you is... need to know common gun safety before you just shoot it, because the way he handed it over was not safe. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, look, there's always, no matter, like, what, there's always going to be people who, like, don't like guns no matter what. Yeah. But when it, as someone who's done it before, watching this is just like, you know, he basically hands me gun, go ahead, try it, yeah. no ear protection, and then as soon as he hits the target that explodes, even bigger explosions, you liked that, didn't you? Yeah. Like, the, that's, right there is your stereotypical uh, uh, American that loves guns. Yeah. You know, like. And he's got two just right there. It, yeah. He's got two on him and one in his hand. But uh, but just to do that, no safety protocol or nothing. America. And do that, it's uh, it, it just it irks me. Brian likes his safety. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I, I sorry, I enjoy shooting firearms from time to time, but I do like when it's in a safe environment too. Yeah. You know, As when when people are trying to act professional. It's a good stress release. I think you kind of like. They used to play on these all the time. Not the fair. You know, we had to hit a dartboard. It's like a bit of paper in the middle and a star on it. He used to always win coconuts. I don't know why like it was always coconut. No, not at all. It was useless. I don't know why they always... That's the only time you see him, innit? You can't see him in supermarkets and stuff. You need a coconut, you've got to go to the fair. We'll let you light one this time. Really? What? He said if you want a coconut, you need to go to the fair. You can't get a coconut at the grocery store. Yeah. There's lots of coconuts here. Tons of them. Yeah. Fine. We backyard. ought to stick it in that crack yeah. right there and see if we can blow that whole mountain up, huh? Is he serious? Blowing that up? Oh. Oh Carl! He's, he's hustling, man. Yeah, he is. I didn't know he could run that fast. How long do you reckon? Oh. Any, any second now. Say 10 seconds. Count down, Carl. 10. Nine, eight. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, you only got to what? To eight, huh? Did you feel the, the compression through the air? Sucks your ears. Yeah, kind of, kind of relaxing though, isn't it? To do that? Not really. No, <laughs> no, no. Is that your idea of fun? Now, <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Explosions. <laughs> Firing guns. It's relaxing. relaxing. It relaxes him. Oh my Look god. Look at his mustache. Uh, used to this be, is why we're made fun of back. so much. Seriously? Yeah, seriously. I don't like the way you tell me that now. <laughs> yeah. Go on back back there, Carl. That way we can find some good pieces of ore. Oh, I don't like don't, that. Is it worth going further down? Well, you don't know till you get there. Never wanted to work down a pit. You just don't want to scream or yell. Just keep watching for snakes. What about spiders? Oh, spiders. There's spiders anywhere. I can't be doing Like cave spiders? How big are they? Spiders. What's that there? There's a bat. You stupid that? bastard. <laughs> Don't do that. Well, he says it's a cheeky bastard. He called it a stupid bastard. Oh, my God. That bat's probably smarter than you, Carl. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> kind of felt safe with him. He's like, even if it did all cave in, I reckon he'd be able to get me out. It was like having Desperate down with me. One hand right here. Yeah. One hand right here, yeah. kind of tilt it down. You want to shake it like this. Went looking for gold, didn't find any. Now you take oh. it. So it's, it's not looking good for Suzanne's present. That's what I was relying on, really. Man. I'm after something bigger, though. I oh, love yeah. Something like that. Yeah, me too. I love I like Joe, though. He had his vest on. You got to chew it, see if it's real. Three guns, a rifle. We're only having a barbecue. 
what was your other I don't uh, know if it's real. Uh, well, uh, the real gold, it's like, it, it, it's pure gold. It's actually soft. Like it'll leave a mark on your teeth if you bite it? No, it'll... it'll like your teeth will leave a mark on, yeah, mark yeah. on it? Oh. Yeah. You have to, in order to make it like the gold that you wear like around your neck, you have mm-hmm. to, I can't remember what they do to it, but they add other metals to it. Like, oh. Also, yeah. Went to a cuddle party. Couple parties, huh? Cuddle. A cuddle party? Mm. What the hell's that? <laughs> yeah. Make like an attempt and a load of strangers and have a hug. That's a new one on me. <laughs> That's well, a different... Th- That's just <laughs> Americans. We have that, we have cuddle parties, and we have, like, you know, this guy. Yeah. That's like, I've never heard of that yet. That's been one good thing, actually, about Route 66. It is a good um, sort of road to listen to music on. Damn, that part of it looks beat up. Good stories. Pinball Wizard. I've never understood that one. That's deaf, dumb and blind kid playing pinball. I just always think, did he even know he was playing pinball? He's got no senses there. Deaf, deaf, Hold on, I wanted to deaf, see the gas dumb price. Dumb and blind kid playing pinball. I just always think, did he even know he was playing pinball? Four ninety nine. Man, th- those must have been tough days. Yeah. Pinball. He's got no sense. When was there. this made? Ten years ago? Death, death, dumb and blind kid. Sure plays the mean pinball or something. He's no idea what he's doing. If you're deaf, dumb and blind, you have no idea. It's a waste of money uh, sort of putting it in the pinball machine. Could have just given him some buttons to it. He's no idea what he's doing. Walk for miles. <laughs> Tree to have a piss at. That's, it's not for me, that is it? That isn't the next thing Ricky and Steve have got me. That's what I wanted. That's what I had in my head. That's cute. That's an awesome looking car, yeah. Oh, um, my dad would love that. You stop moaning about the little car I got you now. So I've got you somewhat bigger. Alright. Always trying to please. If you're happy, I'm happy. All right. See you later. Monster trucks. You Ronnie? All right, Ronnie. Yay! Fucking thing. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Happens every time. Neat, Ronnie. Can we get to park a tire on this thing? Hard-looking bloke. This. Yeah, you know, he had that. tattoos on his legs. For me, that's good. when you know someone's hard. Not, not the Ponzi ones either, not like Latin and all that, or, uh, you know, that sort of Robbie Williams style thing. Just like this? Is that the only way in? Only way in! Doesn't use aftershave, smells of like WD 40. <laughs> Fucking hell! Very scared. Fucking hell! Wanna go try this now? No, forget it. No? No. You don't want it. You, you don't want to go for a ride? No, not, now? not with not without a proper seat, Jamie. Jamie, there isn't even a proper seat. I can't get in this. <laughs> Ronnie! Can you hear me, Ronnie? Ronnie! Ronnie! Jesus! Stop! Ronnie! Ronnie! Fine! Stop! 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 Ronnie! Right, that's fine. Want to try it again? No, no, you're all right, Ronnie. <laughs> Poor Carl. He's the, yeah, he's terrified have you of this thing. I have not. I have. You have? Yes. I'm jealous. They are fun. No, I mean, look at the size of it. Oh, yeah, it's only room for one man in it. It makes no sense. It's not a monster truck. It's just monster wheel. It's big wheels. And that doesn't add anything to a car. I don't buy a car on the size of the wheels. If it had a monster glove compartment, that's more useful. Look at look at mine compared to that.
I was in a monster truck that fell on its side. Really? Yeah. Is that scary? No. What do you know? <laughs> What's the matter with you? No, it was fun. It's like a muddy buggy, and they fall on their side all the time, and you just climb out the window. Okay. I'll tell you what, though, like, I don't, I'm not sure I would do one now, just because mm-hmm. the state of my back. Yeah. But, like, ten years ago, yeah, I would have, yeah, I would have jumped right in and be like, all right, hit the gas. Yeah. But now I'd have to think about it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's why I didn't care. Heard that. I thought Route 66 was meant that. to be about freedom. <laughs> but it isn't, because it's really restricting. It's one road. And I don't think I like that in life. I think that's why I'm not a big fan of sat-navs. Getting lost, that's a good thing in life, I think. Because that's how you find new things. When Columbus was in his boat, I wonder if he was trying to find America. Or if he just got in the boat and went, I'm going out for a Sunday, you know, sail. And he bumped into it and went, bloody hell, look at this I've found. I think my problem with Route 66 is it's already laid out and I'm just on it. It's not my journey, is it? Indiana. Hello, Carl Steve here. I know you're fascinated by people with different outlooks, different ways of seeing the world. We sort of had a little treat for you, spending some time with an Amish family. Oh, wow. You know, they essentially live life like it's still the uh, 18th century. So uh, it should be interesting to see how you cope without all of the uh, mod con. Aren't the Amish meant to be like great believers in sharing and all that, not being selfish? So the, the, this might be a good place. They do believe in one thing that I believe in. What? They don't wear shoes that much. They like just walk around with no shoes. Okay. I don't like. I didn't shoes. know that, but okay. To get Susan a I gift. Feel the earth for free. When they make butter the good way. Can Hello. I... Hi, I'm Carl. Carl, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah. How are you doing today? You well? Good. Good. How about you? Yeah, not bad. It's just a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, it's a little warm. Burning me head. And that's my dad, Laverne. Hello, Laverne. How, How are you I'm doing there? I'm... Now, come on yeah. out, girls. Ooh. You were hoping to go inside, <laughs> I bet. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's roasting. <laughs> Do you have suntan lotion? What's that? Suntan lotion. Hat? <laughs> if you've got a hat, I'm happy to wear a hat or lotion, whatever's easiest. That's it. That's great. OK. okay? All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. You want to give us a hand? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to. You do want to that. remove your shoes, go barefoot, and get a treatment? No barefoot. Oh, I don't grow anything at home. And you get all your produce from someone else. Yeah. Yeah. Get it delivered. Yeah. You just go on the uh, on the computer, tick boxes, six eggs, bread, beans. They just deliver it to your house. Oh, really? Yeah. I'd say the kids are the biggest difference. They got a bike though. His kids seem a lot different than the kids you see at home. They seem like kids. Uh, kids that age at home, they're pushing the pram with a fag on. Everything's in a rush now, isn't it, at home? Everyone wants to be an adult and they want to skip being a kid. Yes, I, I love being a kid. I loved it. Best years of my life playing out on my bike. Same. Do you miss being a kid? Yeah. Me too. I like me. What about relaxing? Do you know, like, I feel a, like nowadays you see, don't play outside. I, I don't read that much, so it's hard to think. But say, like, a James Bond, say, Doctor No, or something like that, would you ever read something like that, or can't you relate to it? Like a, like a what? James Bond? James Bond. Like you a, a James Bond? Seriously? Seriously, I, I'm not... Uh, uh, they don't is it kind of a mystery? TV, no, he's, right. he's like a British agent. He's a... You know, undercover. He solves crime, and he's been around for ages. Come on in. So what? Out of the sun. A little bit cooler down oh, here. That's nicer now, though, isn't it? Good these, Polly. Hi there. Hey, you want to take a can with you? Um, I know. I just was thinking about my girlfriend, because she always expects a present, and I've been away. Oh sure. Oh, okay. I'm thinking, peas. Peas are fine. Uh, she's not gonna like these because she's... She's not that fussy no. with these. Honestly, they're like garden peas. 
Yeah, they are, but they're they're not. They're kind of mushy. She likes mushy they peas. <laughs> okay. Mushy peas. That's the thing we have in England. Mushy peas okay. with fish and chips. That is fine, and it's a good size. Is that okay? Sure, that's okay. sure, yeah, that's okay. Just... It's kind of like, yeah. They wanted to give him something nicer. Yeah, they're extending. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to admire them, haven't you? Really happy with the most simplest of things. I had to sort of, you know, be chuffed about some peas. <clears throat> And I know Suzanne, she probably won't be happy with that. She'll have her face on. Because she knows I was going in a gold mine, didn't she? She'll be thinking she's getting a new necklace when I go home. She's not going to be happy. But I'll say, listen, stop your whinging. The Amish don't moan about it. And But whilst you're at it, get in the garden. Sort stuff out. Get off your arse. That's the thing, eh? They, they do graft hard, don't they? And have you noticed? I've seen a few Amish... The Amish are doing, doing it. So get your ass out there. Get out there, barefoot. They're out, and I'm a fat. Because they're all out and about doing stuff. They're out in the open air. They're not eating crap. They're growing their own stuff. I mean, they've got it right. It's just the beard that's daft. <laughs> he doesn't like the beard, but he likes everything else. I don't think else. I pull off a beard quite like you, though. Like that? I don't think I, I suit a beard. Must die. Come on, boy. I think moaning's good for you. Makes you feel alive, a good moan, a good rant. So that's why I couldn't live in America. Because everyone thinks you should be happy, it's all about living the dream. If you're living the dream, how do you know you're awake or if you're asleep? It's exactly the same, that's what I quite like. I quite like having bad thing. dreams, you wake up and you go, oh, thank God for that. If your dreams are better than your life, what is the point? Your dreams should never be better than your real life. Wow, that was actually pretty deep. No your way. dream should never be better than your real life. My dreams aren't great. Your dreams are horrifying. <laughs> My dreams are crazy. But that I like that. Your dream should never be better than your real life. Yeah. I agree. Are your dreams better than your real life? No. No? Good. No. I don't dream that much anymore, but like... <laughs> I don't know, they can, they can get a bit weird too, but they don't hold a candle to yours. No, mine are very weird. Yeah. But I liked what he just said, yeah. Your dream yeah. should never be better than your real life. I, I agree. Unless you're a sloth. <laughs> oh Unless you're a sloth? <laughs> I bet they dream they can run. Oh. <sighs> You okay? I, yeah. That was my grapes moment. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, that, wow, was that was so funny. That was actually a really good thing to hear you say. And then he's like, they unless you're a say. sloth. But uh, no, like when people say, like, follow your dreams. I never got that because I never had dreams that I was like the president or famous. I have dreams that like cats from space come down and talk to me. Like those are my dreams. Yeah, I usually have dreams where I'm in fights. Yeah, you do. Yeah, and I don't, you know, usually in a dr it's it looks like her eyes are open. Yeah, <laughs> She's just laying there. <laughs> oh, maybe they are. Yeah, but she looks happy, so. Um, in her flying squirrel outfit. In her flying squirrel outfit. <laughs> but yeah, my dreams are usually like, you know, like a fight or something, and I usually lose. Oh, really? But even when I win, I'm like, I don't want to do that again. You know, I wake up and I'm like, I don't want to have that dream again. My scary dreams are like, I have a dream that there's like an apocalypse or I'm trying to get out of a situation, but everyone around me is really dumb and I can't get them. I'm like, you guys, that place is about to blow That's up. That's what happened. And they're like, but we're making biscuits. And I'm like, I don't care. That, Come on. Like, that's that's me dreams. every, every test single time I go to the grocery store down <laughs> the street. You got some old lady banging a uh, <laughs> a fucking grocery cart into the ground going, They don't make these like they used to! No, I went to go get bread and this guy's like squeezing, squeezing all everyone. the bread. I'm like, sir, can I just grab that one? Hold on! You guys are always in a rush of getting a good piece of bread. I'm like... <laughs> oh my god, I swear we need to be kicked off of YouTube. Uh because then they're asleep a lot, aren't they? It's 
got a text from Steve. He says, um, we understand you are getting a little bit bored of driving, so we have arranged a flight for you to see the end of Route 66 from above. <clears throat> I'm not a big fan of flying. He knows that. He's not going to like that. I mean, this bloke called Greg. A little crop duster. Kind of oh, thing. shit, that's an awesome oh, that's looking plane. Really... Hey, Greg. What is How are you? Called? It has a little face on the front. Like I'm uh, about to do something I'm not looking forward to. You want to go flying? You see, I've never, I've never been in a plane. You that's... know what's funny? Because that looked like a World War II plane. It did. But I know, like... And look, I'm not a World War II expert, but I, d I know more the names of more British planes than I do American planes because they had the Hurricane and the Spitfire. We had... <clears throat> what is it? The P-51 Mustang. I think there was a Hell... Wasn't there like a Hellcat plane? I don't know. I don't know. There's got a... I, I, a lot of history... A lot of people who know their history follow this channel. But, um, yeah, P-51 Mustang... Cor a Corsair, which was used a lot in the Pacific. Um, but yeah, I always like get confused with the names of the American planes with the two iconic British planes, the Hurricane and the Spitfire. Yeah. I always recognize like immediately. Yeah. But I see an American plane, I'm like, well, which one is it? Because I can't remember which one. It's open. It's open? Yeah, I sort well, of have that fear of wind hitting against me, not well, being able to breathe. You're not going to get to ride in the seat that much. You're gonna ride up on top of the wing. That'd be your best view. Oh shit. I've seen this. I wanna do that. I would not like this. No, you would not. Like Sick of it. No one seems to care. <laughs> no one seems to, do to this care. These days. I feel for you on so on it's like loads half of cheap the airlines. stuff, Carl. You can get a seat for a quid. Here I am. Standing on a wing. <laughs> You've got to grab hold of these. Remember, I'm going to be high up. You've got to grab hold of these. Pull yourself up. Pull your foot. Yeah, so you don't there. start out oh, there. You have to climb up. Put your foot there. The Look how tight it is here. Oh you you can't put your foot on that. You can't put your foot on that. It's like playing Twister. There's all these sharp things I keep catching myself on. These nuts and bolts. Yeah, like, what if you fall <sighs> on the no, way up? I'm not fine. doing it, Jamie. Forget it. You've seen that I've tried. I don't have to do all this. It was Route 66 was the idea of the whole thing. It's like, always making me look like a knob. <laughs> Who have I got to wear this, really? Spider-Man at a funeral. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What do you mean? I told you at the beginning, I said it's Route 66, we had a chat, you talked about bungee jumping and all that other daft stuff, I said I don't want to do any of that. I look like a right fucking knobhead and there's an old, it's not even a new plane, Ricky, it's a really old one. Damn, he's We mad. sat in your office. What's your worry? Are you, what, what's your worry? Is it safety? Yeah. It, honestly, but it's an old... A, this, but Carl, this would look great, this would be a great ending to the, to the show when you're on there on a wing. Oh, just whizzing along. But this you isn't... Do it. You... No, because this is my bucket list. You'll be a hero. No. You will love this. No. I thought you'd chicken out. So it's not chickening out. I've got some house. You are... You are. No, it's not It's not chickening out. <laughs> so, um, I've got a house arranged for you. So, okay. Well, do that instead then, mate. All right, then where is it? What? 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 It's no scarier than dancing with glee. Trust me. But it does involve getting on stage again. And remember, okay? Oh no. One or the other. If you don't join in and get on stage, you've got to do the wing walk. Where am I? Yeah, this is International Mr. Leather contest. Uh, 33rd annual International Mr. Leather in Chicago. <laughs> ah! Ah! Yeah! You should do a Mr. Leather. Yeah, I'm not getting Me? Yeah. Fuck off, no. Look at them all, he's in a Look sea of them. How do they, how is there that many people that want to do this? Lots of people want to do this. Oh. Uh, look at that, that's like 200 people in the Mr. frame Leather. right now. A Mr. Mr. Leather. <laughs> Do you know a girl named Heather? No, do you a know Mr. Leather? Do you remember Schoolhouse Rock? 
Is they that with Jack Black? No. It's like it used to come on. School of Rock. S- yeah, Schoolhouse Rock was like, I'm just a bill. And I'm so Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. There's yeah. one that's like, Mr. Morton is the subject of a sentence. They maybe think Mr. Lather <sighs> is the subject of a strip. I'm book. just a bill. Yeah. I mean, that's the only words I know from that song. I'm remember. just a bill, and I'm up on a hill, <laughs> and I'm sitting here on Capitol Hill, but I hope to be a law someday. That's the song. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, but yeah, he's just in a sea of Mr. Leathery Leather people. <laughs> and this is where in... Chicago. Chicago? Chicago. Uh, well, there's a lot of people in Chicago, so who knows? <laughs> Help me, please. Oh, he uh, went. Yeah, yeah, he's doing it. He wasn't gonna get the leather helmet. Oh my God, he's doing it. I'm proud of him. I, see, like, this is what makes me, like, proud of Carl, because this is something I don't know if I can do. Cause, yeah. Like, I, I already don't like heights. I don't like flying. Yeah. But, so, to climb on something and while it's flying and stand on the wing? Fuck. Yeah. So, like, you know. Do you know what? This weird? makes me be like, damn, Carl, you you got some balls, man. Even I, though he he tried to back out of it to begin with, but I feel more comfortable like doing something like this. Yeah. Than being on a Boeing going over to Europe. What? Yeah, because if you're doing this and God forbid the plane crashes, I'm probably not gonna know until last minute because I'm having too much fun trying to like get up on the wing and tie myself in. If you're falling if you're on just a commercial flight, you're just sitting there. I can't do anything but just be like, I'm going to eat my peanuts as we crash. Like, at least you're doing something. Okay. Do you get what I mean? In a way, yeah. Like, that's how I felt about skydiving. If I'm going to hit the ground, I'm not going to know. I'm just going to be like, wow, he's taking a long time to pull the parachute. Like, I'm not going to know until I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. So that's my... Let's see how he does. That's how I feel about that. Oh, yeah, I kind of get it. Oh, oh. Shit. Oh. 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 Dude. oh I wouldn't I wouldn't like I wouldn't like that place like <laughs> Oh no of a twat and a bastard that's scary oh god yeah dude that like i was like i was having anxiety watching that until he called him a twat and a bastard which was hilarious but my god oh yeah i would not do that you would have to you would have to pay me to do that yeah what about skydiving I think everyone should do that one. You know, I would, I'd rather do the skydiving than try to climb on top of the wing of a yeah. plane. So yeah, I'd rather do the skydiving bit. Right, but wow, it. I guess Carl. I don't think Carl enjoyed his trip to America. Do you? His favorite part was with the Amish. Yeah. 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 I don't think it was one of his favorites. No. Um. Highlighted some of the uh, weirder parts of our culture. 
I think you know what's crazy. Going to Florida could be his, his own. Here's the thing, though. The Am- mm-hmm. he liked the Amish the most. The Amish seemed like the most normal people. Yeah, they were nice. They seemed like the most normal people he met in yeah. this whole thing. I really like their. Party. I mean, he's going to he's what first party goes to a cuddle party. Yeah. And then the next thing, the guy's trying to relax him with explosives <laughs> and firearms. Right. And then, uh, and then you know, the guy's like, "Here, climb him a monster truck." Yeah, I like how he went on this airplane, stood on the wing, but he wouldn't go in the monster truck. Yeah. Oh, I'd much rather go in the monster truck. Yeah. I would. I would actually like to go in the monster truck. Yeah. I consider myself a land mammal. Like, anything that has to do with flying, like, it, ma- it makes me nervous right off the bat. You like the ocean. I do, but it's still, when I'm on the ocean, I'm still nervous. Yeah. But it's like, it's not like the air. I don't know. Not just a little bit of noise. All right. She's then. wide awake, though. So we should probably end this. And... Go see but, uh, the Carl... Uh, he's only got one left. Climb Mount Fuji. So the last one we're going to, to Japan. Ooh. And then we get to do Carl Comes Home, which is... I feel like that one's going fe- to be really funny. I feel like the... Yeah, with the first season, like the Carl Comes Home episode yeah. was like... In, in some ways, it was the funniest one. Yeah. You know? So... Yeah, I can't wait. To, and then there's a season funny. three, also. Yeah. Oh, there is? Yeah. Oh, shit. I want to know where yeah. he goes for that. But me and you love doing these because it's. Like, I do. It's they're funny. But it's not just funny because it's Carl's in it, but it's also interesting. I love traveling, so this is kind of like a mm. little snippet into traveling. Yeah, you know? it's interesting. Well, we hope you uh, we hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Um, some of the questions that we had, we'd love for you for you guys to answer them or yeah. just throw whatever comments you want below, and. Uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and hopefully we can get the the Mount Fuji episode reaction done soon for you guys, okay? And remember, if you're cuddling and you don't know what to do, go get a grape. Okay, go, go eat some grapes. Go eat some grapes. <laughs> you love that. I did. All right, peace out, Boom Rights. We'll see Bye, you next guys. time.